Those miracles that God has arranged in this season are landing and pouring on your life. What a time and season of laughing and rejoicing in your life. In that place of dryness, a miracle is coming for you. As the word says in Isaiah 51 verse 3, The Lord will surely comfort Zion, and I will look with compassion on all her ruins. He will make her deserts like Eden, her wastelands like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in her, thanksgiving and the sound of melody. God will surely comfort you with testimonies that will blow your mind. Miracles make difficult situations so easy for you to handle because God is a God of wonders and He's doing wonders in your life. The miraculous should be your normal mindset and I'm telling you, miracles are pouring on your life like rain. Do not give in to fear. That's why the most frequent word of exhortation and charge of God to us is fear not. Fear not. Fear not only believes in the power of God to cause changes in your life. Miracles make every limitation become like fluids. There are working of miles in your life. Now you know this, have a different mentality that now you can take that contract. Now you can take that job interview because you have the hand of God backing you. There is no more limit in your life again. God by His hand will lift you into new corridors and levels of power and domination. That miracle you seek is pouring into the place of your desire. That money has come. That house has come. That car has come. That scholarship has come. Because God is working. Knowing this will make you have courage. Knowing that there is nothing that can stop you now. Knowing nothing can stop you because you know even in the time of famine, you will laugh because of the blessing of God upon your life. Miracles are pouring into your life like rain. Rain on every grass of the field in your life. Your business is receiving the outpouring of the miraculous. God will make that local business international. Your joy has come. Do you have any of your relatives who have been at the bedside and you have felt powerless to help them? This is to encourage you that God is still pouring miracles into your life and your miracle will be what is referred to as a notable miracle of healing. These miracles will come so swiftly that you'll be surprised by the force of it. You'll not know how to give your testimony. You'll not know either to laugh, dance or roll on the floor on account of what God is doing in your life. Nothing stops you from experiencing these miracles. Even your faults and shortcomings cannot stop you from experiencing this miracle because it's not dependent on your actions. God tells us in His Word, Galatians 3 verse 5, He therefore that ministereth to you the Spirit, and worketh miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith. The outpouring of these miracles is not tied to your works or efforts, as it is because God is good and that He's choosing, Himself, to release this rain of miracles in your life. The devil will make you see and think nothing is working, and God is doing nothing. He'll bring discouragement that things are not working, but you must begin to see miracles pouring before you experience them. When these miracles begin raining down in your life, your testimony will be that of Psalms 126, verse 1 to 3. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord hath done great things for them. The Lord hath done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Joy has come to your family. God is garrisoning around you and surrounding you with songs of deliverance, so that the way your neighbor will see you from today will be as they never knew you before. Overnight, you can be a millionaire in the favor of God. Stop trying to explain it out from your life. Nothing is too good for you. You deserve the best in life. As a great scholar said, faith jumps but doubt hesitates. Stop confessing the wrong words because you're not just like everyone in that class. God's high favor is upon you. The same favor that lifted Joseph from being a slave to being the second in command. Miracles are pouring. Miracles are pouring heavily. When you look back, you'll see the miraculous. When you look beside you, you'll see miracles because from today, 
your life will be a combination of different kinds of miracles. God has told you to do only one thing, which is to believe. Believe it is for you. Believe God wants you to have that business contract. Jesus said, if you can believe, all things are possible. If only you can believe, all things are yours. Every impossible thing becomes possible. God is making your life beautiful. The same God that turned dirty water into wine in the wedding ceremony. The same God that compressed space to heal the sick. The same God that raised the dead to life. The same God that used five loaves and two fishes to feed a thousand men, not counting women and their children. The same God is pouring miracles on you. There's nothing too hard for him and he will prove himself mighty in your life. He is pouring miracles in your life from places where you did not expect, so you will not explain how it came, but only give glory to the King of Kings for the mighty works in your life. We need the miraculous hand of God working in our lives to lift us to new levels of victory and influence. The reason why many do not experience the outpouring of miracles in their life is because of too much reasoning and logic in their mind. God doesn't work with skeptics who keep analyzing if those miracles are real. God tells us to prove him in Malachi 3 verse 10. If I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. God will release a big miracle in your life that there will not be room enough to contain it. Even when you think you're in a corner, God will make space for you in tight places. God will work different shades of miracles in your life. Miracles that compress time and space. Miracles that bring heavy finances to your debit card. Miracles are pouring. God is saying that He is preparing a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. He will anoint my head with oil, my cup runneth over.